All right, hello. Uh, welcome back to another video. If you're watching, then yeah, this is a video. This is another one of the whole like I haven't slept and it's currently a freaking six, and I have like a job interview, and I don't know how many hours, but <laughs> I, <laughs> but still. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna be like playing um. Yeah, three zombies because i'm gonna be a zombies youtuber now when i when i grow up um uh, no but in our reality i'm gonna be playing a because it's curse of the dead i'm pretty sure i'm right about that but i'm i'm not 100 percent sure so it's set on the cruise from you know bf2 the map that we all know and love and yeah uh, also another thing is i'm going to become a very famous um Zombies YouTuber, so I have a guide pulled up on Steam. Uh, it's like a Steam guide, so it's gonna tell me everything I need to do while I also run through how to do the Easter egg on this map. As long as I don't go down the first like <laughs> the time I'm recording this. All right. So first things first. <laughs> You gotta say, the first thing is, you gotta join my free gift card giveaway. Uh, it's like, you subscribe, you share, you download, whatever. Um, please note that I'm not actually running a gift card giveaway, so don't do any of these things. Unless you really want to subscribe and share. Um, but, yeah. The other thing is, don't die by the zombie. By the one zombie and the other uh, another thing is to like yeah but uh the second goal to becoming the greatest zombies youtuber is saying please like and share this video uh at least 50 times or the video just won't be popular and it won't do as well um so i'm gonna be keeping a counter and yeah i'm gonna just like be editing in a counter of how many times i say please like and share this video because you know you should like and share the video because if you like and share the video then that'd be cool and maybe your friends would want to like and share the video so it's gonna be pretty basic though like starting off i don't think the bears have any significance to the main egg but i mean yeah you can look for the beam in the sky the box has only ever been here the couple the couple of times that I've played the map. But uh yeah. So I'm gonna just try and get a box weapon real quick. Because uh box weapons are cool. Ah. How about no? Now there are some bugs with the map, but I'll get into those later. Oh, I done trapped myself. So anyways, you guys should definitely like and share this video. So the map is actually called Curse of the Undead, but we're loading back into it, so I'll just catch you guys back up to when I uh, do something significant here. Alrighty, so about after two minutes-ish, probably a little longer, um, I I'm back now on, on this map. So first thing you want, you're gonna want to do is you're probably gonna want to get the teleporter pad open. I don't know if this is like the proper way to go or what, but I mean the teleporter pad is right there. It's a little blue thing, so if you like sit on it, then it, you're gonna go flying. And this is very significant for a couple of different reasons. One, that's how you unlock pack. But uh, I'm not ready to go there yet, so yeah. Okay, never mind, I lied. So, we're gonna go on there, and you're gonna see here, there's Widow's Wine right there. Then, you have Electric Cherry right there. Now, if you come here, you'll you'll see that, you know, this is another cruise ship. I actually love the design of this ship. It's just so neat. But, uh, you have a part here, and you don't actually see the parts, but here's something very important. The key card, that is for the Bible ending. You will need this. So, another thing is the uh, pack a bunch that is right there as well. So I actually just looked it up because I was kind of confused 
Apparently there is a shield, but the steam guides that I've seen for them seems like either people just aren't posted. Well, one dude posted about it, saying like, yeah, he couldn't find it. And he found like two of the three. But, uh, yeah. But there's also, right there, hidden pack-a-punched gun. And it's just free pack-a-punched gun. Um, I'm going to be using this for the rest of the game because allegedly it... From the map, I think it was the map creator who said it, I could be wrong. But, uh, it, it one-shots in the foot till round 20, so if you're playing this map, just like look for the open crate there, and there's supposedly four of them around the map, so if you're playing with a bunch of friends, go for it. And one thing that I, I saw a bunch of people complaining about was that, like, you barely ever saw the zombies on this map, and they were, like, very slow. But, I, I don't know if it's just an issue that had been fixed, or what, but, uh, like, I mean, I've been playing for probably less than 20 minutes, and, oh, there's another shield part, so I just need one more shield part. But yeah, I've been playing for probably less than 30 minutes, and it's already round 5, so, yeah. So, this door over here, by the way is uh the viable ending you do need 50 grand for it though but uh you can also purchase ammo for your gun and note i don't think it fills all your guns i think it just fills the gun that you have uh equipped at the time so we're i'm just gonna continue to blaze through these rounds while you continue to like and share this video with your friends oh those perk i've seen it on a bunch of custom maps and I am kind of new to the uh, custom zombies experience, at least in BO3. So, yeah. It's just a little speed boost for a little bit of time. Alright, now that I have one zombie left and plenty enough points, we're going to open this door. And we're going to go upstairs. Now upstairs, you should see power on this wall right here. And then you just flick the switch. Ah, you, I, I, I don't know why, but I always experience a tiny bit of lag whenever I do it. The first time, like, turning on power, but I don't know. So if you open up that vault door, you'll see Jug in there. Um, Jug isn't that important if you can train well. I forgot that I had that gun on me. Okay, well now that we have that on, we can now <laughs> obtain, never mind, we cannot obtain that. So, I'm just gonna spin the box, and then I'll show you guys one of my favorite camping spots. On this map, at least. Come on, just don't give me the little ironies. Okay, an LMG, that's actually perfect for the spot that I wanted to show. So, let's just... There's a couple of these spots, and I will show these spots. Um, but... First, you gotta like and subscribe, or like and share. My bad, you don't have to subscribe, only liking and sharing is needed to become a famous zombies YouTuber. So, if you come up here, literally, you could just camp this, like, walkway if you really wanted to. But, I found that back here is a lot more comfortable. Especially with the fact that, you know, they all train and come up here. But, there are no zombie spawns in that room or in this room. So, like... I could vibe it in there, or I could just, like, come over here. Oh, nice. Let's not die there. Careful about doing things like that, but yeah. You can just, like, jump out this window here. Or, like, jump down there if you really wanted to. Or, my favorite, if you're over here, you can do the whole freakout maneuver if they get too close. Jump down, and kill... Just, like, kill them all from the back. Because, and this is on this side of the map, right? I prefer it because it's just like, it's near Jug, it's near uh, the PhD, it's near Box, you know. And honestly, an LMG is perfect with like double tap. Um, speaking of, I need double tap. Also, Vulture Aid is like really good for this map. Although Vulture Aid is kind of broken, and again, we'll get to that part later when I'm, when I've actually unlocked Vulture Aid. I thought those might be perk bottles. 
So from what I know, there is no, like, side easter egg. Um... Like a song or whatever, but I mean that's perfectly fine. So Voltrade is over here, and it's gonna suck after I get it, but you guys will see. So I drink Voltrade. Now we just gotta wait for our zombie pals. Ah, that one will do. Okay, I didn't do it that time. Ah, there we go. You'll see the green pixels. Not even really pixels, but still. It's one of those things where it's just... It's unfortunate, but I mean... You gotta deal with it. Now, if you're a PC pro like me, you'll know that Deadshot is uh, not very good for PC players. So you don't even have to worry about picking up Deadshot. So that's one perk that you don't have to get. Now, if you have all the perks and you're just like, screw it. I kind of just want every single perk and not just like missing out on one then go for it by all means however yeah ow that that hurt it all right so another thing is, is i don't know when this is going to be up on my channel so that's a bit of a yikes i mean i could get this all edited tonight or today i guess it, it is morning time after all um and then I could get it up, like, tomorrow. Or I could, like, procrastinate, and this can be next month's video. So. Yeah. It's honestly like, am I going to fall asleep first? Nice. So I'm gonna save that pistol for uh, emergencies, I guess you could say. Another thing that I would highly recommend getting if you're going to be camping there is just something like, um, speed reload. Freaking, yeah. Also, if you're up here, you have this back area as well that you can jump off. And you can actually use the jump pad from here, so you can just launch yourself off into the abyss. And from what I know, this jump pad does not have a limit, so you can use it as many times as you want, and there's no cooldown. Uh, which is nice. Makes it a little easy, but, I mean, it's whatever. This is gonna fuck ah, me, ain't it? whimsical. So yeah, I mean, really, that's, that's it for a while. I'll probably, like... I don't freaking know. Tell you guys to subscribe or like and share again. Uh, how many? How many years is that at? I think we're not. I don't even think we're at ten yet, which is unfortunate. That's right. I already have full ammo. This is the great thing about thunder or full uh, trade. Owie, is it gives you uh, extra points and. Emma, so like you, you should never run out really. There we go. Honestly, though, the swims close. This uh, gum is getting annoying. So now that I have five thousand five hundred, I'm just gonna buy a quick revive. I don't remember if quick revive in this uh in this version BA3. I don't remember if it like heals you faster or not. That's interesting. But yeah, honestly, at this point, you just save up money and uh, buy perks, of which I am going to do. Ooh. Honestly, you really don't need stamina. Um, just because, like, if, it, well, if you're going to be camping. If you're not going to be camping, then sure, buy it. But I'm going to... I, I saw a strategy where you just like train in this area, which it is a nice training spot. So if you are training, then yeah, I would recommend something like stamina or just recommend stamina. But if you're not and you're just camping, you really don't need to spend the two grand on it. You're better off saving that two grand for packing or even double packing. If you're close to that yet. Ow. 
Okay, we're gonna run this way. But yeah, so the strat seems to be to camp in here with like the thunder gun, use well trade, and then just prop it. Because, uh, Vulture seems to be really overpowered. Just a little. And there's one zombie left. Just enough for us to spin the box a bunch for a Thunder Gun or any other Wonder Weapon, for that matter. Uh, Commando? Yeah, no, thank you. I, I will pass. Alright. By the way, have I told you guys to, uh... Like in follow or like and share yet? Can you guys tell how dead I am inside by the tone of my voice and how just absolutely serious I am? I am not desperate enough for a brekkie. I also need to buy a uh, meal kick because the dingo is good and I don't want to get rid of my like one shotgun. So, and not a one, not like a singular shotgun, but a gun that will kill in one shot. You guys know. You watch the rest of the video, right? You're gonna watch till the end, right? Um, and then, yeah, the last thing is, is that I have to have this video be at least 10 minutes long. So, I think I'm gonna get that one down pretty, pretty easily. Alright, now I'm gonna get back up into the camping spot, turn my music up, and hopefully drown my sorrows away with the very, very, very repetitive um, action of shooting down zombies until I don't see them anymore. And I'm going to time lapse it, so see you guys then. I'm just trying to take a night Call it switching in the city like Tada. Diamonds dancing around the planet on the sky. Honey cares singing. Scribble inside of a diary. It take a lot to inspire me. I gotta switch up environments. I think the art it requires it. Parents discussing retirement. Not a position to wire. Happy they love it, admire it. I keep on dropping the fire shit. Oh, I flow. I just keep my nose down to the grindstone. Million dollar verse up in my iPhone Switch her the scenario to hit some different time zones She must think she's psychic way she read between the lines though Funny when I'm hot at all I wanna do is lie low Coffee black and a cup or two I'd have a heart attack It ain't started rap, it's far from that You gotta draw it up just like a quarterback When my shoulder's heavy with a heavy heart I hit the beat up and rip it apart Pop out of park and I pick up the speed Pick up the speed I'm just trying to take a night ride well, hey guys, since I'm waiting for uh, zombies to spawn in, spawn in and like actually come up, did you know that you guys should uh, uh, no! This is what I get for trying to do, trying to become the most famous zombies YouTuber. Um, yeah, but you guys should definitely follow and uh, share, like and share, that's what it was. I'm gonna get it right one of these times, guys. Don't worry. Also, <laughs> I'm gonna just get. Uh, hopefully, not windmill. Okay. So, when you're not being an absolute dummy like I was just being. Ooh, that was close. You will, um. You'll have a better chance at surviving. Also, I didn't have Jug. And I thought about how funny that was, how I had, like, a bunch of perks except for Jug. I'm actually gonna come up over here. Oh, no. Oh, God. That was no bueno. Mucho no bueno. Okay. Dang, I just bought Electric Cherry, too. Ah, oh, shoot. Ooh, how did they not windmill me there? Okay, well, this is when you panic by doors. And you get your free gobblegum for the round. 
know. Nice. Color tasted different last time. My taste buds screwed up or something. So now that <laughs> this double points is actually going to be really nice for us. Or would have been if I, you know, had more zombies. I'm going to go back to grinding again and working my way back up. Another thing I just noticed that's really bugged, uh, even though I do not still have meal kick, I still have three slots. I, I just now realized that too. So, uh, I guess I don't have to rebuy that perk, right? Also, I don't have Vulture Aid anymore, yet I still have the Vulture Aid effects. At least the particles. Alright, well now that I bought a couple of my perks back, it seems like I lost my tertiary gun. So, I'm not 100% sure what's up with that, but uh, at least I didn't lose either of my packed guns. Oh, I got the thunder gun. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. No! Oh my god, I really did just get cucked there, didn't I? I really did, didn't I? Man, this map keeps throwing punch after punch, man. I think I understand what people mean by, um, zombies are so slow and they, like, there's no, they're nowhere on the map and they're, like, the slow zombies anybody's ever seen. Um, and one, I dare those people to buy Chronicles and play freaking, um, Kino? Not Kino. Noct. Dr. Coton. Uh, because those people would absolutely love that map. That is such a great official, like, trailer map. Um, especially for people who are really impatient and don't like zombies, like, waiting for zombies. Um, but now, all jokes aside, um, I think that the Vulture Raid is also making some of them lose tracking. I'm not sure, like, the specifics behind it, but, um... And that's just what I'm noticing, and I don't know if it- oh, god dang it. And I don't know if it is Vulture Aid or not, but I don't have it, but I still have some of the effects from it, so I don't know. Alright, now that I have 50 grand, um, I'm going to try and hit the Bible Egg. So, if you take this once, you'll see there's a helicopter right here. Did I really get that first shot? Really? For the video? The first time? Why? How? That is so freaking lucky. So, okay. The first time I did this map, I had to run through it like six or seven times. Because you have to aim at like the tail of the uh, helicopter. And, yeah. But that's the, uh, that's the zombies map. Uh, ooh. Cruise of the Dead. Something like that. No, I think that's I think that's actual Treyarch. Uh, I think that's a Treyarch IP. It is Cruise of the Undead. That's what it was. Uh, the it's super cool map. I actually really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Uh, please like and share this video. I want to see how well I did, how many times I said it, and uh, if you guys just make sure that you uh. Yeah, check me out on Twitch, because I go live on there. Uh, and I hope that I said, please uh, like and share this video at least 50 times. I probably didn't, which means I'll probably never become a famous uh, Zombies YouTuber. Uh, but yeah, cheers. Oh,